In Brevard County, where hundreds of potholes are plaguing Palm Bay and people are getting more frustrated, one man taking matters into his own hands, collecting signatures to get the roads repaved. News 6's James Barbero has more on how drivers are fighting to get results. A big disappointment, would you say? Yes, I thought you say it's a big disappointment. No results. But I think the next one will be better. Yet. Bigger petition and get people together and go with me and speak. Paul Basham's determination to fix a long-standing Palm Bay problem grows only stronger. So you didn't get the results you were looking for, but this fight far from over. I didn't get anything, but we ain't quitting. I'd like to hear something besides I ain't got no money. Like Last night, with six dozen money. signatures in hand, Basham's petition demanding the city repave dozens of pothole covered streets hit a dead end. You get the same thing, they sit there like stumps. But he did get a response from Councilman Trey Holton. I can't dwell on what previous councils did. Blaming city leaders of the past. Holton today telling News 6 neighbors deserve better. He says in a statement, the residents deserve to finally have their roads and drainage repaired. We need now. Basham says to the city, make it happen. This road's been like it's 20 years. I ain't waiting another 20 years. I won't be here in another 20 years. Basham says he'll put together a bigger petition to present to the city council at its next meeting in two weeks. Coming up at 530, what you might call drastic measures some of his supporters are taking to pass potholes themselves. In Palm Bay, I'm James Sparvero, News 6, getting results.